Hello, and thanks for joining me on the Ghanaian Farmer YouTube channel. My name is Enyonam, and seated next to me is Mr. Michael Ba. He is an award-winning farmer with over 30 years' experience. Today, I want him to share that 30 years' journey with us. Why would an educationist earning good money from government, you don't have to stress, every month your salary is in your account? And he leave that to go into farming. Mr. Ban, thanks for joining me. Thank you, my sister. It's been 30 years since you started farming. Oh, yes. Why would an educationist, a teacher, leave his classroom, resign, and go into farming? Uh, as I first discussed with you, I said that I need to, I want to produce food for my people, Ghanaians and also my town, so that everybody may get food to eat too. I may earn a living too from it, which I can employ so many people to benefit from my farming business. Yes. We know that farming in Ghana is almost 60 to 80 percent um, hard work, cut last to hold. Um, is that how your father started with you? Yes, my f father started with the colors and who, mm. but in our age, mm -hmm. that is 10, okay. it's mechanized. Mm. So for my, my father started with the raining water. Mm -hmm. They will be waiting for rain. Uh, the rain, but ours no. They are doing this uh, irrigation system, which you can cultivate and plant anything that you want to do at mm. any time. Mm. Because there's availability of uh, water, which you may use it all the time. Mm. Okay. Is this land 40,000 acres? Is it an inheritance or you bought it? Yes, some um, uh, high, some to my, my father's property, mm -hmm. and some to has been given to me by the chief of Ahinase okay. to employ the youth over there mm. to get them involved in farming business. Mm. So the land is not in one place. Kotozu here, Ahinase, mm -hmm. Apoli, Achimoda, and Akinkesu. Okay. Yes. All right. Now, when you had the land and resigning to start the full-time farming, I see a lot of tractors around. Mm -hmm. How much went into getting these tractors to it help you have a smooth... It is not easy. It is okay. not easy. Mm -hmm. Um... I started with one irrigation machine. Okay. Uh, to start with watermelon and uh, cucumber, graduate, graduate for about 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So at the end of every uh, farming season, mm -hmm. I tried to buy another machine uh, to help me in future. So when I do this for so for about 20 years, I have more than 20 machines and. Uh, pies and some tools. Okay. Yes. So it's a gradual process. Mm. It is not easy. Mm. It is uh, up and down. Mm -hmm. You gain and later you lose, you does, you fall, mm. you rise. Uh, but it's a gradual process okay. that has brought me to this far. Mm. And also mm -hmm. uh, to resign from the teaching business, mm. I've compared the two. Mm -hmm. That the farming is to me, I will earn more than the, the, the teaching. And also, I, may, I, will, I will be able to produce more food for my people. So it is better for me to resign. And also, now I have about 196 workers and uh, 400 uh, casual workers. And this one and this is, if I said I'll continue to be teaching, I can monitor. I have the farm manager, I have two secretaries, I have four men and other people, but I myself must sit down, make sure I'll go to a farm place here in Nase and then be supervising them so that my work too will go on. Mm -hmm. That's why I stopped teaching for about four years ago. Okay to supervise yes. and be a full-time... Make full -time. sure good work right. is done. Okay. Yes. Mr. Ban, are you able to tell me, maybe not the exact figure, but how much you started 
your farming journey with? Yes. Uh, it was uh, that's from of, uh, in a five uh, hot, uh, about five that's five hundred Ghana cities. That's fifty for my uh, now fifty mm -hmm. Ghana. That's five hundred thousand. Mm. Yeah, I started with five hundred thousand mm. because I bought the the, uh, the irrigation machine. Okay. Uh, Three hundred thousand. Then pipes, PVC pipes. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, 80,000, 80, making 380. Mm -hmm. Then buy the, uh, the intake and outlet. Mm -hmm. uh, and then use uh, 50,000 mm -hmm. for uh, that to the five cities, mm -hmm. 50,000 for the uh, purchasing of the raw material. That's watermelon, mm -hmm. watermelon, and cucumber, and also. The plowing, mm. yes. Okay. Yes. And this around the year. Uh, uh, eighty-six. Eighty-six. Yes. Oh, now you're Eighty-six. Woman. I was not born. Yes, eighty-six. <laughs> I was not born around that time. Yes. Okay. Now, before you zoomed into the planting, yeah. did you get any form of technical advice as to plant this one? It would do well. Plant that one. It would do well. Or you just zoomed into it because maybe those things that's well. No, my father, my father is a good farmer and then cultivate so many things, cassava, plantain, cocoa, and other mm -hmm. uh, farm crops. Okay. And uh, when you move down from Makinkasu to Kotoso, I see the lake, uh, the uh, farm river yes. is here. You have the big river Yes, here. and then some people too came down here 82, 83, mm. to uh, cultivate tomato mm. farm. Mm. So I joined them. So I see that there's uh, uh, money in it. Okay. So when, once, once I'm attending uh, school, mm -hmm. uh, same time after school, I have to come go to farm. Early in the morning, mm. I have to go for fishing. Mm. Mm. So I do three things at the same time. Morning fishing, mm -hmm. then from there by mm -hmm. seven thirty I have to go to school. Mm -hmm. By two you close down to two thirty, mm -hmm. then three I have to go to farm. Okay. Yes. So let's mention the crops one at a time and tell me how many acres you have. Yes. Let's start with watermelon. How many acres? Watermelon. Do you have? I started with four acres. Okay. With six workers. Mm. And how many and acres then, now? And now. Uh, about 1,000 acres. 1,000 acres. 1,000 acres. Of watermelon. Watermelon. Which variety do you cultivate? Uh, sugar daddy, mm -hmm. cowlack, mm -hmm. uh, top harvest, all okay. these three. Okay. Yes. And then we'll move to cassava. I realize cassava. You have some cassava. Yes, cassava. The assembly supplied me with some sticks. That is called sika. Okay. But addition to that, sika and ampon. Mm -hmm. Uh, our local one, Ankara, uh, Hallelujah. There's one called Hallelujah. That's four to five months. Mm. Very, very small, but it is good. Mm. And then the Chinese. Okay. So how yes. many acres of cassava do you have? Um, it was 25 acres. Mm. But because of the number of the workers, mm -hmm. we have consumed more. So okay. I, have the, I have about 10 Mm. And then the the new one. Mm. Then then the new one is about twenty seven acres. Okay. Yes. And how about plantain? How many acres of plantain? Plantain I have six, just six. Six acres. Yes. Okay. Just six. I also realized that you have yam. Yes. How many acres of yam do you have? Yam yeah, I started with four acres. Okay. But this year, mm -hmm. the early next year, mm. uh if all things be equal, mm -hmm. I will cultivate twenty acres. Okay. Uh, and then the cocoa. cocoa. How many acres? Cocoa is just 100. 100 it's acres. It's almost 98. Hey, did 200. you hear him? Is that cocoa? 100, yes. That's a uh, uh, Pempurasi, a uh, Pempurasi, a uh, uh, Sikuma, a Kinkesu. Is that cocoa? Just 100? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Now let's talk about the cashew. The cashew is 32. 32. 32. In all these crops you mentioned, yes. are they sold beyond Ghana or is just sold 
in Ghana? Oh, the onion is beyond Ghana. Okay, you have onions as well. Onion. And then kakiwa. Onion, 300 acres. Okay. Uh, I can say for sure, mm -hmm. first ever in Korea, mm. that somebody has able to cultivate about 300 acres of onion. Mm. Yes. Okay. And uh, it is not bad. Mm. Yes. So, every season, do you plant the entire year thanks to irrigation? You plant the entire year because of irrigation? Uh, yes. So, from January so now, to December, now, you are farming? The, the uh, uh, onions is over. Mm -hmm. So, the watermelon and cucumber will replace the onion and uh, onion. Okay. Yes. Then, by uh, uh, what, uh, cucumber, it takes about uh, 40 days. Mm. Uh -huh. So by two months, mm. two weeks, it will be over. Mm. Then the watermelon will come to the same land. Mm -hmm. Then cucumber will go to other land. Then after so you do everything, crop rotation. Yes. So okay. the land will not rest for okay. one minute. Okay. Then uh, around uh, March 10th, 15th, March, mm -hmm. then I need to plant beans mm. throughout the whole land. Mm. Throughout the whole land. Okay. Uh -huh. So one month, two weeks time, I need to and I need to allow the tractor to plow mm. the entire uh, beans mm. on the land. Mm. And allow it for about three weeks and replant it, uh, replow. Mm. Then uh, two weeks time, two after two weeks, mm -hmm. then we harrow and take the best and plant the onion. Okay. So that we fertilize the uh, the land. Yes by using the beans uh, which we uh, planted on the land. So we plant the maize not to, for feeding, mm. but to uh, fertilize the, this in the, 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 the land. The soil. Uh, yes, okay. so that uh, the land will be a new land mm. for you to mm. uh, cultivate the, the crops that you want mm. to uh, cultivate. How many casual workers did you say you have? 400. And permanent workers? 196. 196? Yes. Okay. But now, about uh, close to 100 people are on holidays. They okay. have went for holidays. Right. They will come early, fair, uh, first, second mm -hmm. uh, week of January. Okay. Then the work begins. The, the rest, start again. yes. Then the rest uh, are now working very, very hard on, this, on the whole land. Mm. And then the, the, the students who just completed SSE, mm -hmm. they have come to work for about two, three months before the, their results will come. Do you pay them? Yes, I pay them. Okay. Because they are here purposely to find some money to further their education after their results are out. Mm. Yes. Okay. Mr. Ba, these workers you mentioned, do you pay all of them physical cash or there's another form of payment you yes, give to them? Yes, it depends. When you come, I'll sit down with my executives. Mm -hmm. So it depends. If you want a monthly payment, mm -hmm. that will be done. Okay. Meaning you are working for me to pay you. Mm. Then some two will sit down and say, no. At least if I'm able to cultivate about one acre of watermelon, I can harvest about one or two trucks. Okay. And if one truck is uh, uh, 25,000 or 30,000, I'll get about 60,000. Then divided by three, I'll get more, I'll get about 20,000. So I will not go into that business of paying. Then I will do one acre. After harvest, then we divide into three. Then you give me one. Then I give the person one and take two. Let me get it right. So for better clarification, if I walk into your farm and I tell you I want to work for you, you give me the option of physical payment, that is money, yeah. at the end of the month. Or the share bu uh, business. The share business, which yes. is that after mm -hmm. harvesting for the farm, you yes. cultivate another one acre and then you share the produce into three. No, the, 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 the yield from the, 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 the farm. Okay. Uh, maybe... Uh, the whole, uh, we got two uh, Renu mm -hmm. track mm -hmm. of watermelon from your one acre, mm. and one is 30,000, mm -hmm. so the two will be 60,000. Yes. Then we divide into three, and I give you one, and I take two. Okay. Yes. So with that one, I don't go home with any money. 
I only go home with the proceeds from the sale. No, no, you go home with the money. Okay. After the sales uh -huh. of the products. Okay. Is there that we sit down mm. and divide the whole uh, 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 what money mm. that you got from the farm? Mm -hmm. We divide into three. Mm -hmm. Then you take one and I'll take two. Okay. Um, so how many of your workers love this? Oh, about 90% of them. Hey. Oh, yes. Maybe you'll be uh, paying uh, a thousand, thousand five, thousand two hundred based on depend on uh, your workforce. Mm -hmm. And somebody may take about one or two acres, mm -hmm. and then you work on the farm mm -hmm. for maybe two months, mm -hmm. and that person will get uh, twenty thousand or plus. Then you will take about two thousand or three thousand. Mm -hmm. So they prefer. The sharing done, paying Pay physical, them. yes. Okay. Mr. Ba, it's been 30 years already yep. since you've ventured into full-time farming. Mm -hmm. Would you say it is worth it? Yes. What have you benefited? What are some of the gains? What are some of the things you have gained from farming? From and that is okay. why you would say it is worth it. Yeah. Hmm. There's a certain things which we can disclose more. Oh, you mentioned a few because the this, is, are this is a motivation to yeah, somebody who is working. Yeah, the tractors are there, okay. Reno, then the houses, mm -hmm. the uh, irrigation facilities. Even that alone, mm -hmm. the machines, uh, tubes, pipes, mm -hmm. yes, and the valves right. will cost more than uh 20 billion okay that alone right. but i'm not sure when i'm staying there and the travel experience uh, yes i've traveled to german and uh, uh israel hmm. for the, the onions business okay even um, next month you I'll, I'll go please take us uh, i'll go <laughs> Because there's a certain diseases that affect onions, uh -huh. which they have the remedy. Okay. So I just want to go and study it for some time. Just I'm going to spend only two weeks. Right. Uh, uh, there's certain uh, diseases and two. Mm. When they rain to a foreign regularly, mm. then it brings more disease to the onion. Okay. And I have to go and then study that one too. Okay. So, based on the farming right. business, uh -huh. I'm able to travel. Houses, yes. cars, uh, yeah. your tractors, yeah, travel yes. experience, mm -hmm. and a lot more. How a many children more. do you have? Four. Are any of your children interested in this, your occupation? Yes, my boy. Your son? Yes. I have one boy one boy three girls okay yes a lot of people still perceive agriculture as for the uneducated yeah. they perceive agriculture as a dirty job it doesn't pay you are a whole educationist you've put aside your master's degree and all that and you are into food what do you tell people who have this kind of perception about agriculture? you see ghana sometimes when you want to tell the people the truth then they will turn into a different scenario. Mm. I mean, politics. The politics are killing Ghanaians. Mm. Because you will tell your police that there's work. They say, no, there's no work. Do you think they know? Uh, we see so many people forming unemployment graduate association yes. here and there. Mm -hmm. They will be giving some more money to go and uh, show themselves up so that people may see that there's no work. Mm. But meanwhile, when you travel, outside mm -hmm. some countries may not see uh, the youth outside you may see the youth working for instance it's dry you may not go and see even one youth mm. who is not working mm. but here mm -hmm. <laughs> you may see the youth marching on the streets because they, they say there's no work there's no money no there's money in the bush there's a, a, a water body in every community mm which we can cultivate. I just buy one tube, uh, 10 pipes, one machine to start. Mm. I started with one, one machine, one, uh, 10 pipes. Even our time, you buy a quarter pipe, 
then put your hand on it to spray the water. Mm -hmm. But now I've changed that one and using the tube. Mm -hmm. Because when you start the machine, you open the valve, finish. And when you want to change, then you change to the other place. You may not uh, spend much time. Okay. Uh -huh. Mr. Ba. So, I will advise the youths okay. to get themselves mm. in farming business mm. and stop the galamsey, which mm. is killing us exactly. gradually, spoil our mm. water bodies. Mm. Now, mm. apart from Kotesu here, mm -hmm. which our rivers are clean, mm -hmm. water, Sesu mm -hmm. Koto, and uh, Bipu, mm -hmm. when you get to Nkoko, you descend the mountain and get to Nkoko mm -hmm. and eat environment. Mm -hmm. You may not get proper water to drink yes. unless such a water mm. and that will not help uh, the the new the new generation mm. uh, i will so pass very soon okay mm -hmm. now i want us to you know limit ourselves a bit okay. with onion for instance okay on let's say when you start january you're going to cultivate about a 300 acre yes okay oh. how much goes into just planting of onion 300 acre 300 acre. Yes. How much will you spend you on buy planting by, You buy about 20, 25 to 26 bucks. Okay. And one bag is 110, that's 11,000 okay. per one. Right. So the planting materials mm -hmm. alone, mm -hmm. that's the seed mm -hmm. that we may use it for uh, the nursery and mm -hmm. for uh, planting. Mm -hmm. So that one alone, because I pick money, mm. because maybe twenty five. We want to bucks. know because my viewers 20, would ask. You know, you didn't push him enough uh, to tell us about cost. Twenty five uh, bucks times uh, eleven thousand for about three hundred acres. Because one bag will plant more than ten acres okay. if only it germinates well. Right. Uh, if yes, if it germinates well, can plant more than ten acres, okay. ten to fifteen acres. Okay. So if you're able to buy 25 acres, mm -hmm. you may use it to plant the 300 acres and then have some small acres. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. And uh, you know, uh, the, uh, one bag, mm -hmm. I've already uh, informed you mm -hmm. that one bag, mm -hmm. 11,000 mm -hmm. per bag. Okay. For and the I onion. Don't know, yeah, for the onion. Okay. And I don't know the years to come. Mm -hmm. Because last year it was 6,000, 7,000. And this year... It started 11,000 and later uh, they reduced a bit to 8,000. Onion bag? Yes, a bag of onion. Which is, is it a 58 the kg is, or the 100 no, kg? No, no, no. The, 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 uh, hot, the four, 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 number four. Okay. Yes. And that's good for the, the 11,000. Yes. Okay. How long does it take to mature for you to harvest? That one, you, you the nasal. Mm -hmm. It takes about one month mm -hmm. uh, for transplanting. Mm. Transplanting will take two and a half months to three months. Mm -hmm. So in all, it will mm -hmm. take about four months. And you harvest once? Yes. Okay. Yes. How much is it sold? Uh, the, uh, the onion market is there. Okay. Uh, the buyers will come. Mm -hmm. some, to, some will come with their money. Mm. And the big, big men sometimes... Mm -hmm. Uh, they will come with their money, or they will buy a week or two. They will come and and pay because they buy in a large quantity, mm. like a truck, mm. three hundred and twenty bucks. Maybe they are taking it to a Cote d'Ivoire. So you load, and then they they can come with that money, that big money. So they will pay into your account later. So how much is a truck? Oh, Mister Ba, no. how much is a truck? It depends on the bag of the onion. Okay. One bag, sometimes it started here mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. It started with 550, that 550 Ghana. See this? To a 750. Okay. Uh, and how many of those bags fill one track? 320 bags. Please do the calculation 700 times 320 bags. You know how much. Mr. Ban is carrying from the farm. Oh, that's no, what no I problem. But anyway, but you know, this mathematics, is, do the mathematics. You see, by that one, you have to check the number of workers that you have. Uh, it's uh -huh. true. You have to check then, uh, the and then, mathematics. And also the uh -huh. planting. Uh -huh. One bed, you spend mm. about two, uh, three, uh, two cities for one bed, okay. the planting. Okay. Then you, uh, the, the uh, TNT. Right. 
because you have to hire people from Adoso, Asibone, Shawondi, Kutuso itself, and sometimes from Agogo. Okay. So they, they are TNT, right. they are feeding. All of that. Yeah, that will goes come into goes, goes into the yeah. planting. Yeah. Then after planting mm. too, uh, the cotton, mm. one bag, 20 Ghana. Okay. So 320 times 20, times right. 20 Ghana uh -huh. per one. That's and that one too, yes. So some people are able to cut about two, three bags a day or four bags and There's you pay them. There's a saying in Ghana that and you cry and you say pay day. Oh, that <laughs> one, that one, yeah. I tell you, <laughs> you own your business, right. if, we're able to, if, if we're able to start uh -huh. at the right time, right. Uh, you may not go at loss. Okay. And, but uh, there's one better. thing that I also keep hearing from farmers or people who want to go into farming. Yeah. They say, eh, ahim funu. The land, as I see, no, there is no land. There is no land. Is land available in Ghana no, for farming? No, it's available. You if have land? people are seeing that they are uh, lazy people, that's what I can tell. Mm. Yes, because the chiefs mm -hmm. are always available to mm. give you the land okay. to cultivate because okay. they need food for their people. Mm. Yes, if they, their locality are having food for the people, mm. the chiefs will not be, people will not go to the chief and disturb them mm. and I may be being to be no mm. because there is food available and people too will bring food to the chief okay uh, for instance we, the chief have given me big land mm. to cultivate mm. on the land and after having my onions I have to go and say hello to yes. the chief and the people yes. and then the others yes. well you have helped me so okay. at least this <laughs> is your this. portion so if you okay. go to the chief mm. oh and I frequency my mm. because of what he got for me, mm -hmm. can yeah, easily give you something. Okay. Yes, so the land mm. for farming, mm. I tell you, the chiefs, they will not, uh, 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 you may not struggle. Okay. Whenever you go to them, they will give you. Was your wife mm. in support of your decision when you told her, my love, I want to quit teaching and become farm? Was she in support? Yes. Is she supporting you uh, right very now? Very serious, very, very serious. Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> The system, when the system is good, right. you follow. Okay. Uh -huh. All yeah, right. So, so, Mr. Ba, finally, finally, yes. your word of advice to people mm. who are watching you in Ghana, who are watching you abroad, people who want to go into farming, but they are still as so stroke, a crack, you know, hey, farming, what do you yeah. have to tell them? Your the final uh, words. You see, you know, it may not depend on even one crop mm. when you want to get into farming. Mm. Yes, because... Uh, anything at all can happen. As I'm speaking, mm -hmm. about 30 acres of watermelon. I have let you just one week for it to mature mm -hmm. uh, so that I'll send it to market. Mm -hmm. uh, the flood. The, the water river. has yes. taken over. Taking over. Wow. More than 30 acres. Of watermelon? Watermelon. So what are you going uh, to do? Uh, what can you do? Because it's not yet matured. Didn't you know the times that the you river know, last gets year, but for about for 15 years? It doesn't happen like that. Even the area don't come. Even my cashew. Mm -hmm. uh, some are in a deep wow. water. So but that is destroyed. That is destroyed. So now I'm prepared. We are preparing down the, from November, December. Mm -hmm. As the uh, the water is going back, mm -hmm. then you will follow. Okay. Yes. And uh, it will also make the land also rich. Wow. Yes. Because because of the heat and the water, it mm -hmm. will take all the disease from it. Okay. So you will follow. Right. And uh, when it is going back, we follow. Okay. Um, but next year, mm. we we'll go early. Okay. So by this time, we may finish harvesting. Right. So we will not have a uh, problem again. Okay. Yes. Wow. And also, um, uh, some people want to invest into mm -hmm. farming mm -hmm. business, mm -hmm. and that same year they want to get everything. Mm. No. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't that. work because uh, a friend of mine invested about nine point uh, point eight billion, and he's able to realize about five billion. And then he was worried and said, "No, the uh, equipment that he bought for the farming business is there for mm -hmm. about ten years." Okay. It will last for about 10 years. Okay. So even you have gained. Yes. Because next year, if next year you're able to get that uh, five, uh, 500,000, 
Then another year, up to 10 years, mm -hmm. you look at the money that you get from the farming business. So you have not lost. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But what you intend to get, mm -hmm. you are not able to get that. Mm -hmm. That's the losing aspect in it. Okay. Because it's not because of the mm. uh, heavy rain mm. uh, uh, fall mm. that we had this year. Mm. I tell you, uh, things will work proper. Mm. Things will work proper. Mm. But this time, hmm, hmm. I know. Anyway, yeah. So I know. That's why. So it's on and off. Right. But the farming business, mm. you it's can't good. compare any work mm. to it. Wow. And you may have your liberty. Mm -hmm. You may, uh, you, may, you may rest sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. I will just bring my mm -hmm. mats to the under of the uh, cashew and sleep and rest more. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the maize, the maize, the, maize, the, the yes, right, yeah, everything. Right. Look at the pandemic. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Uh, please come and help me with my bush allowance. Uh, ah! <laughs> See my bush allowance. So, oh my goodness. Mr. Ban, thank you so much.